our next topic is standard form and we are going to learn how to convert numbers in standard form so assuming i have a number like 0 0.000135 and i want to write this in standard form this becomes i move my decimal point one two three four so we have 1.35 times 10 raised to the power 1, 2, 3, 4. So 10 raised to the power negative 4. So moving from um, the left to the right, we have a negative index. So if I have um, 45, 3, 2, 4532.13, and I want to write this in standard form, this also becomes 4. 0.53213 times 10 raised to the power 1, 2, 3, positive 3. <coughs> because we are moving from the right to the left, we have what? A positive index. In an exam, assuming you are asked to solve a question in standard form, and you are asked to leave your answer in standard form, the main idea is to convert those numbers into whole numbers. So after simplifying it, then you convert it back to standard form. So for example, let's pick a question of that nature. So the main idea here is for us to convert all this into whole numbers and then simplify it and then get our answer back in standard form. So we start by trying to convert all of them to whole numbers. So I move this one step, so it becomes 6 times 10 raised to the power negative 1, which will be the first one, times this already a whole number, so we are going to leave it as 32, times we have 4 times 10 raised to the power 1, 2, 3. So we move it 3 steps to the right, so it becomes negative 3. And then for the denominator, we have 1 and 2, which is 12, times... 10 raised to the power negative 1 times, we move this 1, 2, 3. So 8 times 10 raised to the power negative 3 times 1, 2, 16 times 10 raised to the power negative 2. So in our next step, we are going to have, uh, we are going to group like terms. So we have 6 times 32 times 10 raised to the power negative 1. So in our next step, we are going to group like terms. So we shall have 6 times 32 times 4 times 10 raised to the power negative 1 times 10 raised to the power negative 3. And at the denominator, we shall also have 12 times 8 times 16 times 10 raised to the power negative 1 times 10 raised to the power negative 3 times 10 raised to the power negative 2. This is going to give us 6 times 32 times 4 times 10 raised to the power negative 1 times 10 raised to the power negative 3. So in this case, we have what we call indices. It brings it to mind indices. Where if we have a raised to the power m times a raised to the power n, because the bases are the same and the index are different, we can have a raised to the power m plus n. So when we have the basis to be the same, we can add the index. So over here, this is going to give us 10 raised to the power negative 1 plus negative 3. And this is also going to give us 12 times 8 times 16 times 10 raised to the power. The same application we use there, we are going to use it here. Where the bases are the same, 10, 10, and 10, we add the index, which will be negative 1 plus negative 3 plus negative 2. So we go ahead and then we simplify this. When we simplify this, 6 will go into itself 1, 6 will go into 12, 2. 8 will go into itself 1, 8 will go into 32, 4 times. 4 will go into 16, 4, and 4 will go into 4, 1. So we are having 1 times 1 times 1, which is 1. So we shall have, this is going to give us 
1 times 1 times 1, which is 1, times 10 raised to the power negative 4. And this is also going to give us 2 times 1 times 1, which is 2, times 10 raised to the power negative 6. Now, with this, we are not done. So we are going to continue by solving till we get our answer in standard form. So we'll be able to simplify this. Now, let's continue by 1 times 10 raised to the power negative 4 is 10 raised to the power negative 4 over 2 times 10 raised to the power negative 6. So I can write this as 10 raised to the power negative 4 times 1 over 2 times 10 raised to the power negative 6 because this times 1 is still this, which is at the denominator. Now, under indices, we learn that a raised to the power minus n is equal to 1 over a raised to the power n, which is the inverse form of this. So, 10 raised to the power negative 4 now becomes 1 over 10 raised to the power 4 times 1 over 2 times 10 raised to the power negative 6. So, when we multiply the numerator again, we are going to get 1 times 1, which is 1 over 10 raised to the power 4 times 2 times 10 raised to the power negative 6, which then becomes 1 over 2 times 10 raised to the power 4 times 10 raised to the power negative 6. So again, we use the same application, which is going to give us 1 over 2 times... Now, the bases are the same, and they are multiplying, so we add the index which is 10 raised to the power 4 minus 6, which will give us 1 over 2 times 10 raised to the power negative 2. Now, just as this is at the denominator, and I have a negative, so this becomes, if I have a raised to the power minus n, and it's 1 over a raised to the power n, so this means this is the same as 10 raised to the power 2 over 2. So this goes up, the 10 raised to the power negative 2 goes up. So if I have 1 over a raised to the power minus n, this becomes what? a raised to the power n. So we have 10 raised to the power 2 over 2, which is 100 over 2, which is equal to 50, which is 5 times 10 raised to the power 1 in standard form.